Hi friends. <laughs> I'm feeling a little discouraged today. Going through my beautiful garden. The heat is like making everybody feel punky. And then just, you know, growers pains, I guess. You know, my beets look terrible. I've been having to cut this disease, whatever this is that's getting into them, the bug or what have you, the leaves just look terrible. So I'm going to harvest my beets today. Hopefully the meat um, and the actual beet is still good. And then my poor little um, beans, you see back here the peas, not beans. That's nice though, isn't it? <laughs> see the potatoes. Um, the peas just, they're struggling. I don't know if it's the heat. And see, that's the culprit right there. That darn old white um, butterfly. See them? They're bad. Those are the moth-bearing butterflies. They're just little brats. They eat everything. So, this is nice, though. Look at this beautiful fennel and my flowers. But I just can't. Oops, sorry. I'm probably making you really dizzy spinning your room. Can't deal with those white moths, and I'm not sure what to do. So I've got Swiss chard, and I don't even know, is it still safe to eat when it's got marks on it? You know, obviously I'm not going to eat the, the marks, but do we eat it around it? Do we only have what's available? I don't know. So I feel just feel like, see that darn stupid thing? I feel like, um, discouraged. Here's more. Look at the zucchini, what happened to it? It looks terrible. See the moths? Look at them right there. On my sweet potatoes. They're so bad. I don't know what to do with them. What are you doing? Are you laying eggs? Ugh. Gross. And they creep me out too. They give me the goosebumps. So... Look at my zucchini's a mess. Total hot mess. This one's dead right there. That was the sweet potatoes that that moth was on. This is all pumpkin, which I don't know what to do to help it right now. It's really crowded. And the bees, too. It's not like bees, it's like wasps or something. That's why I've got that nest thingy up there. Between the wasps and the darn. Um, white mothy things. Look at look at all my kale. See those bees? They're just everywhere. So I don't know. Gotta take care of the arugula too. I let it sprout so I could have the beans. It's pretty spicy. These bees are just everywhere, though. What are you guys doing? I mean, they're not bees. They're wasps. And I've sprayed this thing, but it makes me creepy, creeped out on my lettuces. So, anyways, <laughs> I've got got to watch my step. Um, oh, wow! I didn't want to get stung. I got this hay or straw that I'm gonna put down and see if that helps. But look at everybody in there. I've got pumpkins and things started and then they die. So I don't know what necessarily to do. I put down the pine needles and I thought that that would be good, but who knows? I don't know if they didn't like the pine. Was it too acidic or what? Look at those little plants over there. They look sad. The ground said that it was moist enough, so not to add any more moisture. So maybe it's the heat. Oh, see, there's those wasps going back up in the plant. So, anyways, if you have any suggestions, you see these? These are all seed pots. So, I'm going to have a lot of arugula seeds. <laughs> and those blossoms were so tasty. But then I kind of got grossed out seeing all the little bugs in them. How do we deal with the bugs, guys? To just know they're there? I don't, I don't, that's not for me. <laughs> I try to dry them out, but those are so good fresh that you don't kind of lose your appetite when you see little things crawl out of them. 
and all the chamomile. There's two different kinds of chamomile, remember? The Roman and the German, and I've been harvesting both and letting it dry out for tea. I can't wait to see when these peppers start to change color. They're huge. I hope you can see how big they are. Oh, let's see if I can get down and zoom in. Am I getting it or am I seeing it? It's always hard to see what I'm doing out here in the sunshine, especially with these darn bees. And there's quite a few on the jalapeno plant too, but they're not long enough. And the cilantro flowers. Oh, look at that. The little uh, ladybug. I'm real happy to see the zinnias, I think they are. It's the first time growing those. And it was so pretty because it matched the Swiss chard. I just wish I knew what was going on and how to get rid of those nasty little pests. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. Because it's all my work. <laughs> it's like, really now? Now what do we do? What am I doing this for? Am I doing it for the, the pests? So again, I know these are all growing pains of the farmer, and this is probably the reason why they use those nasty, disgusting chemical per fertilizers and things to keep the bugs away. But I want to keep our good pests and get rid of our bad pests and try to work with nature so that we don't have to be poisoned. I don't mind eating around a bug hole, you know, getting the parts that we can't eat, sharing things with nature to have that whole process. But I don't want it to be major buggy and, and gross, so I just can't deal with that. And especially to this extreme, it makes me sad. So that stuff seems to be doing pretty good. <laughs> they say to grow certain things, so my squashes, I finally have some produce happening. See, that thing is huge. And I'm excited, but look at there's more bees over here. Not bees, wasps. Um, cantaloupe and watermelon. That's the acorn squash here, and this one's the yellow crooked neck squash. Ouch! And if I zoom you in, I don't know. I know it was by that big leaf. Ouch! I'm touching something hot on my leg. Am I getting it? I thought there was a squash in there. Oops, my phone says it's too hot. It's going to close. 